every once in a while, a, a sports story and golf story hits to where we got to have an emergency recording of Maddie and the caddy. And uh, this is it coming out this morning that the PGA Tour, DP World Tour, and Live Golf will merge into one golfing entity. Caddy, there are a million ways to go about this story. Um, I, I I just want your your opinion first, and then I'll give you mine, and then we'll take it a step further. But what's your opinion of this news this morning? Uh, number one, I, I hate to be the guy that have to say this, but I told y'all so. I mean, we talked about this when the Live First came out. And I said that eventually a merger was going to have to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen in this manner and in the way that it happened. Uh, uh, such outward, hold your line in the sand, almost venom, where emergency behind the scenes negotiations were happening. Not even necessarily emergency, but I think we had two entities showing a front to everyone. And then there was a whole lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. It, it reminds me a little bit about of the Cold War back in the day when, you know, enemies were enemies up front. But then behind the scenes, there had to be all kinds of negotiations to keep everybody safe. I think this is a good thing for the betterment of golf. I think it's great that these two entities are coming together. I can tell you that there is a lot, a lot of confusion right now amongst players and caddies. And there is going to be some serious questioning from a lot of golf fans who chose a side and one side in particular of, wait, I thought we were all on a united front in this way and now we're not. So, and okay. Look, I, I, this, I, I'm going to be as blunt as I can about this. Good. We should be. Because... I find this one of the most spineless, gutless decisions that Jay Monahan, the commissioner of the PGA Tour, could ever do. I don't. You put this all on Jay? No questions about it. Why? Here's where, here's where I'm at this morning. First thing, I think that this is amazing for golf. I thought that. When Liv was going on, I, you and I were one of the rare groups of people that said, hey, everybody's talking about golf. This is amazing. This is great. Good for golf. But to be Jay Monahan and say what you said about Liv, say what you said about the players who defected from Liv, basically make everyone who defected from Liv erasing anything they've done in their past and making them the most awful humans on the planet. And then Caddy. A year later, <laughs> caving in without even telling his players about it. It is the most gutless leadership I've ever seen. I, a pro sports commissioner. I don't, I'm separating this from the good of the game because I think it's great for golf. Yes. But from Jay Monahan's perspective, how you're going to look your players in the eye today, tomorrow, next week after what you've said in the past, and then not even a year later, you take the money that everyone else wanted to take after you told them money does not equal legacy. I think this is one of the most gutless decisions I've ever seen a commissioner make. That's who I look at this for. I love this for golf. I if, I'm them, if I'm the players, you're not my commissioner anymore. Get out of my way. Well, hold on, though. Let's. Does it not seem strange that just a couple of weeks ago, Rory started walking back everything that he was talking about? Like, oh. that... look, there's, there, look. I, here, here's the other thing. Do you know me in conspiracy theories? I love yeah. that. Something, something happened. Here's what I have heard. Greg Norman found out about this the same way we did. Something happened. Yeah, there was backdoor negotiations. Listen, there was a tournament that was held, not a PGA Tour event, not a live event, not a DP World event, but there was a tournament that happened that they didn't want any cameras at because there were representatives from all these places at this event that they wanted to make sure no one got any pictures of them mingling together. This kind of stuff happens. It happens in the business world. It happens in the sports world, too. Like... I don't it think anyone should be super surprised about it. But I will say this. 
I don't necessarily agree with everything that you're saying about Jay Monahan, but I will I will say this though about it. Like the one thing Jay did say was like, listen, we're not going to get into a money contest with the PIF fund, the, the PIF, because we're going to lose. We don't have that kind of money. We don't. That being said, now, like you said, for all the stuff that you said, and Keith Pelly was just on TV talking about like for the DP World Tour. They're saying, oh, well, the suspensions might still be out there because if you're one of those guys on the on one of the tours that didn't go, that d you ain't take the bag, you ain't go, you ain't take the bag, and you were like, yeah, and you can't get on the Ryder Cup, and you go there the world yeah. off ranking points, you ain't get, nah, we ain't never going to have to worry about you. No way. They come back, huh? They come, what do you mean they come back? Where's my money? Right. Somebody owes me some cash. And we talked about that when the players, they had that 25 guy plus Ricky Fowler secret meeting. And, right. like that. and I said, what if number 121 went in there and they, they were just asking him to go get them coffee. Now, and these are the guys I'm thinking about now. Those, those guys on the PGA Tour that are 70th and lower, how are they feeling right now? Because the top guys, they're getting their money. On no the question. PIP and like with all their like extra the events that they're getting to play, they're gonna get their cash. But the other guys are like, yo, we stay loyal and now what we left, and I'm telling you, I am at the Corn Ferry event here, the Corn Ferry Tour event in the BMW yeah. Charity Pro Am here in Greenville, South Carolina. And it is the only thing that, and I mean celebrities athletes golfers caddies volunteers cops like i'm it is crazy i'm getting text messages from people that are in football camp right now they're doing yeah. their, those workouts in camp my phone is blowing up but this be i kind of i want to figure out how to say this because <laughs> we yeah. actually, I don't care how i say it we, I do. Come on, you, man. Take it easy. <laughs> you and I were never on sides here. You and I were always like, hey, if that's what Brooks Kepka and Dustin Johnson and everybody feels is best for their career, I love the, the, the conversation that created for the sport. I have just, I, I'm stunned. I have never seen, like, put it. My boy Mark Slayball had the best line. He called me up, Mark Slayball, our own ESPN.com's yeah. Mark Slayball called me up. And I go, hey, man, how you doing? And he goes, I would have been less shocked if you would have told me that Coach Saban was going to Auburn. There you go. That's, <laughs> where I'm, that's where I'm at right now. Like, I was sitting here trying to form a sentence earlier this morning, but I'm like, what in the, what? Bruh. How did, live, this is, live one. Live one in a year. They won, Caddy. I'm going to tell you something, man. There's a whole lot of people working at some other places that are going to have to do some serious backstroking, boy. A whole bunch of backstroking. And this is what I don't understand. I mean, and and I'm not, I'm not saying this to be funny at all because this was the problem of when you dig in and you make two camps go head to head against somebody like that. Not if you're a hardcore fan, like I was just with, I was at the Columbus crew game and I had this dude, like, you know me, I tried, I'd be Switzerland, right? I got friends on live tour and I got friends on the PGA tour and I'm not picking like, oh, I'm only going to have these friends. Like, oh, right. this on. I, like I see the positive and everything. That's what I try to do. I want to see all the positive stuff. And this guy was wearing me out talking about how it's all about the PGA tour this and then talking about how that Saudi fund is just like blood money and they're murdering people and all that. They're saying all this stuff. Now, all of that stuff that those people said, what you not now, what you quitting golf completely. You're not going to watch no more. Stop. Lying. There you go. You're not going to stop watching golf. This is why you shouldn't have been setting all that bull crap before, because this is what happened. You paint yourself in a corner and now you end up looking stupid. And that's why, and you and I never did. No. We and that's why I, we can sit here today and have an opinion about this because we we just saw – I saw the growth of the game in it. I thought that it was good for the growth of the game, which it ended up doing. And I would always joke around, like you and I even talked about it at the PGA Championship. Could you imagine 
if three times a year PGA versus Liv got together and the ratings that that would get, it would have been. A- if that was the match. We said that all the time. I but just, I also, from the very beginning of this, said was one thing I kept harping on. At one point, there was an AFL and an NFL. Yes. Now, we don't have the media and the social media today that they had. There was no such thing as any of that. Back then, what? There was three channels, four channels on TV, if you count PBS, right? There were four channels on TV, and they were all black and white, right? So what do you think the... The barbershop talk, the barroom talk, the store shop, when you go into work, what the talk around the water cooler was when the AFL was first introduced. Like, oh, look at this. This ain't real football. These guys throw it. Ah, throwing is not a real way to play football. Like ABA, NBA. All these, like all this stuff. Nobody took the AFL seriously until they won the Super Bowl. And now Bruce Kepka wins a major championship and everyone goes, you know, it's not even really going to affect golf all that much. Hey, Adam Scott wins the Masters, and all of a sudden, the anchoring of a broomstick. Oh, man, that putter is just not acceptable anymore. Listen, this is where we are. This is why when something new happens that the world wasn't necessarily ready for, sometimes it's best to just sit back and go, huh, this is interesting. Maybe I should just check this out and give it a little chance, see what happens. Here we are. Oh. We'll end it with this. The my most conspiracy of all conspiracy theories. Oh, here we go. Should I get my tin? My should I get my aluminum head with it? The- Here's what I believe. I believe because Brooks Kepka should have won, could have won the Masters mm. and won the PGA Championship. I am convinced. Two, maybe three of the PGA Tour's biggest names best players in the world were this close to going to live because they know they could take the money and still win the major championships. And that is why Monaghan was like, because I'm con- you can't convince me that world number one, two, three, four, whatever got offered a couple hundred million dollars. And if he lost them, he lost the tour, so Jay had to get in bed with the people he was scorning a year ago, and that's why we are where we are. Here's one conspiracy theory from me before we leave, and that is now at the <laughs> nice. <laughs> so now that they've done this, like the AFL, AB, we'll use the ABA. Yeah, there is no more ABA. That all got into the NBA. Well, live now. Does it just go away? And now when you watch all of these guys, the pundits who were giving their hardcore opinions and only in one direction and how it's right. Do you now ever believe that you're going to believe what they say? No. And what they tell you? Because now you know the truth. Of who? Oh, uh, <laughs> right. It, look, I, I this is a landmark day in sports, and we'll continue to follow this throughout. But I, I think the one word as we wrap it up here on an emergency, Maddie and the caddy is, wow. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.